Hey, you see that 360 camera on the Mavic Pro doesn't work that well? Well, I think you're right. We're going to talk about it coming up. Well, if you remember right, I designed a 3D print to attach to the bottom of the Mavic Pro, which would allow the 361 camera to take 360 pictures from the bottom of the drone. The idea seems okay. In reality, there were some problems. First, the takeoff is okay. Let's take a look at that. Now in testing, I was able to get it to land pretty good some of the time. But there is a problem, but first let's take a look at a good landing. Now what I totally forgot about is as the camera folds up underneath the drone, it blocks the sensors. So when the drone's trying to land, the camera comes up and the drone doesn't or isn't sure where it is. And this is what can happen. So I had an idea that might work. What if the drone comes down and lands backwards and trails the camera in front of it? Maybe that would work. Well, here's how that looked. Okay, so that worked pretty good, but there's still more problems coming. <laughs> Finally, I figured out maybe the best way is to catch it by hand. And I think that's right. Here's how that looked. Okay, so having figured out the landing problems, it was time to do a test of the camera in flight. The first test failed miserably. And the reason that it failed was that the camera hanging underneath the drone was flopping in the wind and when the drone stopped and you know all, all those sort of things, the camera itself well really recovers from when you're walking or that sort of thing but the wind and so forth made a horrible picture. Didn't work at all. So I'm not even going to show you that because it's not worth it. So then what I decided to do was, well, since we're going to hand catch it, why don't we hand launch it and then we'll attach the camera firmly to the bottom of the drone and did that test. That also has a few problems in it because when the drone's flying along at a constant speed, it's fine. And if it stops, it does a little jerky motion. And I'm going to show you that and you're going to see what happens there. The answer is hopefully, and I haven't done it yet, but if I run the camera underneath the drone in the tripod mode where the stops and starts aren't so accelerated, then it should be okay. That test is going to come up, but I haven't done that one yet. But here's the one that I did last.